Hello again there, Jeff. Well, here we have your model again, and this time it's really all finished up. We have it mounted on the base, and uh, all the control switches are installed, and everything is put together. I wanted to do a quick demo on it for you to show you how everything works. We come over here first, and we turn on our power, which will be this button here on the left, this big square one. And that activates all of your power, all of your lighting, everything comes on all at once. You can see our windows are looking better now that they've dried overnight. Everything's coming through nice and clear. And uh, everything on the bottom of the saucer, we'll just kind of have a look around it real quick again so you can see that everything's going here. Got your uh, shuttle bay here in the back. And uh, the impulse engines, everything's lit up. Turn it around the other side here. And as I mentioned again, you can swivel this model around, but you don't want to uh, swivel it in a complete circle over and over. That'll do some damage to the wiring, but uh, here's all of our lighting on this side. And we'll put it back over here, and you can see now you've got this little button right back up in here, which is a momentary switch. I kind of put it off and out of the way. Uh, this is the speed control for your Bessard, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit, uh, hit it once, and you'll see that your engines now slow down one speed. This is kind of the speed right here uh, that I like them to run at. I kind of wish this was the default speed that they came on, but um, that's the next slowest speed from the fastest speed. And then we'll hit it again. You can see it slowed down even a little bit more. One more time, now they're going super slow. And then back up to full speed again. So you've got four speeds there, and that's kind of the one push of the button is where I like to put it after I turn it on. I think they look really good right about there. So they look really nice. And then we come down here and we have our um, opening monologue. We push this uh, first button all the way on the left here. And after that one ends, you can push the second one, which was uh, uh, the sound of the uh, bridge. And the uh, view screen there. Okay, and then when that one stops, you can hit this third button, and it gives you your red alert sound. Okay, now here's where we get into uh, the phasers and the photons. So what you're going to want to do, Jeff, is that the soundboard will put out light to that uh, sensor dome on the bottom all the time unless we are unless we shut it off. So. What we're going to do is we're going to push this button once to turn this on and activate it. And now we're going to push our phaser, and you'll see that it'll light up in blue down here. And then we'll hit the photon. Okay, so when you're done with that, you just hit this button here one more time just to turn it back off. Now you can play your 
your bridge sounds and everything and you won't have this light coming on down here that's the only thing don't worry it won't burn anything out if you if you uh, forget to do that or anything it'll just light up whenever you hear the other sounds so I'll turn this back off to cycle it again so there you have it Jeff now this is really unique no one else out there that's building these is including these sounds and everything with this so you have a really unique model here it's gonna be uh, It'll, like I said in the last video, it'll last you a really long time. I numbered it on the bottom of the base. This one was actually number 11 and put the Trekworks uh, in there just with a silver Sharpie so you have a little record of this. And um, it's going to be a collector's item. So uh, I'm really sure you're going to be happy with it. What I'm going to take and do now is I'm going to box it all up and get ready to go. So uh, I'll be prepared to ship it out to you on Monday. So take care, Jeff. I hope you enjoy this, and we'll talk to you again soon, buddy.